something as simple as salt. Ironically, what we have long used as a preservative is contributing to our deaths. Something as simple as salt is giving us the opportunity to raise our awareness, learn of our heritage, and our imperative need for mindfulness. Something as simple as salt is reminding us that there is more to who we are than what is found on the surface. Now here's the tricky bit. At the risk of ridicule or critics depicting these specific positions as worthless distortions of conditions, we're living a life that is unhealthy on a whole. From something as simple as salt, we buy it and eat it and give up control. Now, while I'm a little bit nervous to tackle these topics, topics connecting salt to slavery and surgery and race and death, it is, yes, risking potentially unpopular views to provide information and answers and truth. It's for you to choose. You can go on as you have, or you can start living life moving forward, not back. So moving on, many black Americans are at a greater risk for the damaging effects of salt. And even in saying that, this has very little to do with race. It's a little hard to explain, but let me attempt to be clear. Race, in terms of skin color, in terms of melanin, has very little to do with how our bodies function. So why blacks in America? Well, as the theory stands, in the bottom belly of the boat, chained and malnourished, these men and women sponge water from the sea through the weeping wood hull, absorbing salt in through their skin. And those with a higher salt sensitivity tended to survive better. Slavers became aware of this. It is documented that slaves were licked before they were picked because those who tasted saltiest were less likely to die. Why? Biological self-preservation as a way to balance out electrolyte levels to offset dehydration and they didn't even know their bodies were doing it. This is why black Americans who are descendants of slaves are two to three times more likely to be at risk than someone from another ancestry or race. And it may seem unfair to suffer past conditions, just as it's unfair to still deal with racism inherent in a system built upon victims. But we have the freedom of choice now and the necessary tools to choose. We do not have to be victims of the past. We're not anchored to what was. We are free to ingest information and apply it as we please. Salt is the cause not only of high blood pressure, but dementia, osteoporosis, heart disease. Salt kills more Americans than tobacco. We put salt in baby food. So what do we do? We are aware of the problems. How do we solve them? What are my choices? What are my options? It's simple. Eat real food. Don't add extra salt to your diet. Learn to improve, change to adapt, just as we did those centuries back. Make the choice for awareness. It's in our design. Make the choice because we are connected to those who refuse to die. Make the choice because we want a long and joyful life. And if there is nothing else that our ancestors have taught us, it's that we must change for the better. That's all that they wanted. It's for you to choose. You can go on as you have, or you can start living life moving forward, not back. It's your choice.